We have been working towards a healthier environment for as long as we can remember. The journey was long and tiring, and there were several moments that we thought of almost giving up. But we carried on with our journey researching about microplastics, because microplastics is a major problem, and we believe that it is our responsibility to overcome it. Plastic pollution in the seas. It's more tiny plastic. So now we have a few plus juta ton microplastic. Then has it been from sampah sarap? A global crisis: the overabundance of plastics filling the ocean. Just about everywhere they went, they found microplastics. Tasse UPNM, once a tin mine in 1873, it is now opened as a lake to host various military exercises and recreational activities by the National Defence University of Malaysia. But over time, these activities affected the water quality of the lake. And there are still people who don't know about it. Tasse UPNM is divided into several stations and researchers from Pusat Marine UPNM found out that stations 1 and 2 are the most polluted with 581 milligrams of suspended solids per liter for station 1 and 183 milligrams for station 2 it is proven that this lake definitely is polluted but are there microplastics? This has gone way past the class 5 of the National Water Quality Standards for Malaysia so we decided to go to Tasi UPNM ourselves to make a site visit to understand the current situation and do some investigation we found out that water from UPNM accommodation, such as the usage of washing machine and the use of cosmetic products, all end up in Tasi UPNM. Besides that, active fishing and kayaking activities are also held in Tasi UPNM. All of these contribute to the presence of microplastic in our site. It is shown from the bar chart that the total suspended solids has the highest content in the lake. So, we took our own water samples to see if there are any microplastics, tested it at ALS Technican Labs, and yes, they are a part of the total suspended solids in the lake. So now, our problem statement. To reduce the total suspended solids by reducing 0.26 mg microplastic per liter 30% for a clean and healthy water environment by April. The tasks are distributed. Now it is time to execute. Before we jump into the solution, let's take a step back. Microplastic pollution in Tasset UPNM. It is proven that this problem has impacted our environment negatively. We from RMC Innovate are working towards a solution to this problem. But to properly eliminate a problem, we have to solve it from its roots. Using only a YY diagram, we can determine the root causes of this problem. So, why is there microplastic pollution in Tasi Ipianam? This is due to the wastewater that flows directly into the lake. Why? Because it flows directly from UPNM accommodations. Why? Because of the usage of cosmetic products and wastewater from washing machines from UPNM accommodation. So, the next root cause. Why? With three root causes in hand, we have to choose one. Counting in true factors and whether it is controllable or not, we decided to use an evolution matrix. For the first root cause, usage of cosmetics products in wastewater from accommodations. It is true, but it is uncontrollable because we cannot control what cosmetic products people buy. Therefore, this root cause is a no. The next root cause, the lack of knowledge on how to remove microplastics. 
is true and it is controllable as there are various methods used to remove microplastics and ways to educate the people on how to do it. And for the last root cause, irresponsible people. It is true, however, it is not controllable because we do not have the power to change human behavior. So we decided to carry on with the root cause, lack of knowledge on how to remove microplastics. So, what are the possible countermeasures for this root cause? Firstly, we can do proper cleanup in Tase UPNM. Besides that, we can make awareness campaign among UPNM students. Or maybe, we can educate students on the many ways we can extract it. And finally, we can get support from authorities to educate the cleaning organization about the proper extraction of microplastics. Now, to select the best solution for our problem, using an evaluation matrix, the solution, do a proper cleanup at Tasi Ipena. Come first in the priority ranking with a score of 5 in practicality, 5 in effectiveness, and 3 in cost. This solution has the highest total score of 13 out of 15. Now to select the suitable mobility element for our countermeasure. Again, using another evaluation matrix, we decided that tools is the best category for our solution. We have a score of 5 for practicality, 5 for effectiveness, and 3 for cost. Tools has the highest ranking compared to apps, eco-friendly vehicles, and clothing. Then we came up with a solution, the VC project that compromises the VC campaign. More solution to microplastic in Maktab Tengkeredi Raja. It started with a talk on awareness and a challenge, the VC challenge, where students compete against each other to collect the most plastic waste within a week. The objective which was to raise awareness among students was successfully obtained and the campaign managed to collect 6.5 kg of plastic waste. Then, we started working on with the second part of our project, the We See It Glider. Starting with experimenting with a simple AC system, creating our simple prototype, Working on our EC tank and experiment team. So now, presenting our smart tool, the solution, the water efficiency intelligent trash can, the We See It. A sea glider that comprises of a buoy at the bottom for it to glide and a tank to collect and separate microplastics. Firstly, water fills up the middle tank until it is almost full via a water pump. This will take about 3 minutes. Then, electrocoagulation will occur. After some time, coagulants will appear on the surface of the water. Clean water on the bottom layer will then be released, leaving only the layer that is full of coagulants in the tank. Water will then fill up again for 3 minutes, causing the top layer filled with coagulants to overflow into the coagulant tank. Coagulants is then removed and the water in the tank will go through the same process again and again. We checked our results at ALS Technicam Labs and yes, our project is effective as we achieved our target reducing microplastics more than we expected. Ini kami bawakan anak-anak muda daripada Royal Military College ataupun Maktab Tentera Diraja. We introduced our project to Malaysia on national television. Ada di mana-mana saja. Cuma kita yang tidak tahu akan keadaan in hopes of raising the awareness of our people towards the dangers of microplastics. And with the creation of the We See It Glider, we received positive feedback from our stakeholders. Well, I'm very, I'm very glad. You all are aware of the pollution problem. You are aware of the problems that have been uh, caused to our environment. Our mission is accomplished and now it is your turn to do the same because we see it.